Well, now you can see a whole lot more than the time when you look down at your watch, and we're not talking about the date either. Well, you know, now that the Apple Watch is officially on the market, we've got to ask, is it really worth the $650 price tag? What does it do? What does it tell you, and how does it stack up against all the other smart watches? We're here to help us out. Glenn Doreen is electronics editor at Consumer Reports. So, Glenn, I mean, I'm happy with the Mickey Mouse watch, <laughs> let alone, I mean, this, are these really worth it? Well, what's interesting is you can actually make this look like a Mickey Mouse watch. They have a Mickey <laughs> Mouse course, face. Yeah. So, well, of course. so if you're willing to fork over much more than you normally mm -hmm. would for a Mickey Mouse watch, you can have this too. Uh, it, it depends on kind of what you want. I know that's a bit of an equivocal answer, but the truth is if you are constantly checking your phone, mm -hmm. this actually will make your life a little easier, and all these watches can do that. Um, I mean, it sounds kind of cool that you can have, like, your iPad on your wrist, kind of, right? <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to have your iPad. Those I mean, are, those are huge. So what does this Apple Watch do? So uh, the Apple Watch here is, this one is actually 700 with this particular buckle. You can drive this model all the way up to, I think, $1,100, depending on which type of bracelet you get. But it'll do notifications. It does Apple Pay. You can put credit cards on it. It does, uh, it'll also allow you to text, uh, to answer text with little short canned messages. And with some, uh, with some apps, you can actually, for instance, in Starwood Hotels, you can walk right into a hotel, go right past the check-in desk, go up to your hotel room, and <laughs> just open the door. Damn, is it going to wake me up? Is it going to dress me? Is it going is to make gonna my coffee? Is it going to cook for me? Is it going to massage it's amazing. me? You'd think it would wake you up, stuff? but you have to charge it every night, okay. which is actually part oh, yeah. of the problem. How is those? Is that the bad thing, that the battery doesn't last oh. long? So the battery lasts about, you know, we, I've been wearing it for around two weeks. The battery hmm. does typically what last around a day. If you exercise a lot or mm -hmm. listen to music uh, through it, through Bluetooth headphones, then it will last, it can last less than a day. Right. But really people are going to have to, if they're interested in this, get used to this idea that their watch has to be charged like as often as their phone. Yeah. Okay, so $650 base on this, and then what's this one? Uh, so this is the LG G Watch R. This is, LG's got a few uh, smart watches, but what's interesting is Apple uh, watches only work with iPhones, so if you have an Android phone... Like I do. Uh, what are you going to do? So there's a, there's a couple of models... This is my of, Michelle watch, but continue. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of models of, uh, of Android watch. This is running the Android Wear uh, operating system, and uh, this one costs around $300, so it's much less expensive. Um, and it does. It has a lot of the same functionality. It can do mapping, notifications. Uh, they run apps. Um, but you know, it's a, one of the things that happens though if you buy one of these watches is you're locking yourself further into the ecosystem that you already bought into with your phone. Okay, so but this also will link up to my Android phone as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it definitely will, and it also allows you to do voice commands. You can access mm -hmm. Google's voice commands through it. Um, mm -hmm. So there's plenty you can do. You can make and receive phone calls too. Okay, what's this, the Pebble Watch? I don't know what that's So the Pebble Watch is actually the least, this is the bargain of the bunch. It's $200. In fact, you can get a plastic, this is the Pebble Steel. You can get a plastic Pebble for $100. Mm -hmm. And it works with either operating system, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it doesn't have a touch screen. It's not color. Um, it uses buttons on the side, but it can still do notifications. It can't do voice, voice commands and calls through it, though. Well, because it's $200. That's why. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, uh, how do you it like suddenly it? seems like a bargain, right? Yeah, right. Do you like the Apple Watch? I mean, like this thing? Yeah, it's you know one of the things that's interesting about it is that it's it's fun. It's really kind of nice. It's a nice conversation piece. But would I spend my own money on it? I don't mm. know. I mean, next.